Okay, I'm starting off with my phone case painted in white and I'm going to make a mixture. Essentially, I need my orange to be a bit lighter. For that, I'm just going to add the tiniest amount of white that I can have. Take a mini brush. So I'm working with one of these, well, acrylic paint palettes or painter palettes where you can make your own combinations. And I'm going to paint the whole thing. Once my front part is covered, I'm just going to carefully pick my phone case and just paint all the sides and everything. And once my sides are painted, I'm just going in on the back side where the design is actually going to be. So I'm just going to take two acrylic paint bottles and I'm just going to paint the whole thing. So we painted the white first the base because we want this color to be really vibrant and that's what happens when you apply like a white base and then your color. Okay, this is dry now. So I'm going to be working on it over a Ziploc bag. Add some orange in here. That's actually a lot. <laughs> and I'm going to mix it with some black, the tiniest amount of black that I can get. So it's a bit darker, that's all I need. And then I'm going to be grabbing this brush. It's one of those really thin brushes that you usually uh, use for nail art and all that stuff. I'm just going to grab some paint like that. And I'm going to add some lines in here. Your lines don't have to be perfect at all. Just make them a bit darker than your color in the back. And I'm just going to go and make my line thicker or just the same thickness all over it. Once I've done that, I'm just going to follow the line like that and the same thing on the back. And I'm actually going to be adding another line right here. And with my lines, I'm going to the front as well. Okay, then I'm just going to go and draw two more lines. One is going to be like here. Okay, I have no paint in my brush, which is awesome. And it's going to be here, like all the way down. And then the other one is going to be here, all the way down. I know it looks kind of like basketball right now, but once we add the face, everything's going to change. So once this is dry, I'm just going to take a Sharpie and I'm just going to mark where my nose is going to be, where my eyes are going to be. Doesn't have to be exact at all, but just to know where. And then where my mouth is going to be. Here's the middle one and then like that. I'm just going to take a really small nail art brush. I bought this at a nail supply store and this is just supposed to be for nail art. So I'm just going to go and do my lines, which are pretty much triangles. They don't have to be perfect at all, but just so you know, just so they look like triangles. I'm going to paint this part. You can make this pressure of the face creepy or sweet, depends on your taste. If you're really, you know, picky about symmetry, you can measure all the lines and everything, but since I'm not, and I'm trying to make this look cartoonish, sort of, it's fine to me. And you can totally use the Sharpie to paint this, but I prefer to use paint. Just because I feel like it uh, lasts longer, you know, the drawing. So I'm pretty excited about Halloween. It's almost here. I cannot wait. I think I'm going as Wednesday Adams. I'm not real sure about that, but I'm um, 99% sure because I actually bought this pretty cute like dress, Forever 21. You can see the photo of it on in Instagram. I posted it um, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. I'm not real sure. I don't remember. Or maybe more than that. But it's like black and it's got like the white neck. I am pretty sure again, I'm just going as Wednesday Adams. Let me know what you're going to, to be if you celebrate it. I wish I could just like dress up every day. <laughs> also let me know if you are into Halloween or not. So I'm just going randomly with my face. Kind of following an image that I found online. That helps a lot when you have no idea how to do it. And then I'm just going to paint like inside. I'm just going to add the um, green part on the top of the head. You can use like um, 
a white base and then after add your green it's up to you and then on the top there just to make the illusion that there is going on something here like that and I'm just going to wait for this to dry to add some dimension because it looks like kind of flat and kind of random in here I'm going to add a second coat to make this a green more vibrant I just took some green uh, acrylic paint and a bit of black and I'm just going to add dimension to it you can skip this part if you don't want to that, to add anything else but honestly I feel like this looks better with this going to the top part and then to the front part and then as a pretty much last step I decided to go ahead and add some random lines just to make it look like it's um, curvy no idea if I'm making sense or if I'm going to end up liking this but it looks kind of cute I think kind of creepy cute <laughs> and just like that so I'm just going to let this dry so once my phone case is dry, I'm just going to be working outside because I'm going to be, you know, using my sealer, which is in spray form, and this is my gloss finish. I get it at Home Depot. Originally, I wanted to go for a satin finish, but I didn't have any. I was running out of it, so I just uh, work with what I have, and I give it a couple of coats. Work outside is really important. Wear gloves as you apply because it can get quite tacky. And then let it dry and you're good to go. Hope you liked this one. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff. Share it. And I hope you have an amazing Halloween if you celebrate it. And yeah, talk to you later. Bye guys.